850 million. That's the number of people who have escaped poverty in China over the past 70 years, which is more than the entire population of Europe. But don't get me wrong, I'm not here to brag about China's achievements in poverty reduction. In fact, in this episode of Xinhua Commentary, we try to answer one question. How did China pull that off? We could dig into what specific measures and policies China used, like releasing preferential tax policies, improving the use of anti poverty funds, and establishing online platforms for selling agricultural products from poverty stricken areas. <sighs> but that could take days. Also, important as they are, they could bury you in details, but we just want to give you the bigger picture. But if we break China's anti poverty success story into how and who, its approach is actually not that hard to understand. As for the how, it's targeted poverty alleviation. Targeted, targeted, much targeted poverty alleviation policies. Yes, targeted. China decided that it should break away from the old practice of using a one size for all approach. Instead, it made customized plans for different regions and for people who are stuck in poverty for different reasons. Take Southwest China's Guizhou province, for example, the region's mountainous and rugged terrain troubles locals tremendously. The people used to climb this ladder to get to this village on the clifftop. To solve the problem, China has spent about 137 billion US dollars on improving transport infrastructure in the province over the last five years, adding 21,000 kilometers of highway. As for those villagers you just saw, they actually never have to climb that ladder again, as the government helped relocate them to places that are more inhabitable. Again, it's essential to keep in mind that people fall into poverty for different reasons. For some, it might be the environment they live in while some may suffer from physical disabilities. But how did China target those specific causes and address each and every one of them? This clip might give you some insight. If you are classified as poor, then you're included on the National Poverty Register, and you'll get help from a local official. And if you look at this here, this family of three is actually poor because of the father is disabled. And thanks to government assistance to help them raise pigs and chicken, also to cover health care because of the father, and to help them build a new home, the family increased their annual income in 2017 to over 7,000 kwai. See? Different problems, different solutions. The country's targeted poverty alleviation efforts also include various arrangements to create work opportunities and give people job training. And this village in central China's Hubei province is just a perfect example. As online sales increase in popularity, e-commerce training courses have been organized for Jiangxi County residents. Some villagers who couldn't even use smartphones before have started their own live streams to sell the local produce. As for the who, any perfect plan would fail without capable people on the ground carrying them out. China's anti-poverty campaign is both top-down and bottom-up. Tens of thousands of officials have been sent to the front lines in this war against poverty. They'd stay in and live in the village and go door to door to work out detailed plans. It took years of tremendously hard work and some of them even risked their lives. For people outside of China, it might be difficult to understand why someone would go so far as to risk their lives to do this. So they'll go with their own logic. Oh, it must be for show, it's all political maneuvers. But if that's really the case, I sincerely hope more political parties in the world will be doing shows like this. Then real people's lives will get better. Hundreds of millions more of them. The motives behind China's anti-poverty drive is almost common sense to its own people. The Communist Party of China walks the talk about staying true to its founding mission, to serve the people and rejuvenate the Chinese nation.